I just love seeing all of these fall colors laid out. The fun pumpkins and the jack-o'-lanterns and the orange and the black. It just gets me so in the mood for October and Halloween and all the fun stuff that comes along with it. But with all of that said, there's a lot of planning and I need to get this all on a paper quickly where I can just glance at it and know what we're going to do and coordinate all of that. So I've made this little planning sheet. I'll put the Canva link down below. You can customize it and make it exactly the way that you want. I also have my fall curriculum guides here. That helps. There's a lot of great ideas in there. I'm going to do these little puzzles and these letter matching. And I think I'm going to stick the magnet on behind. That seems to work out really well. I've got these magnet strips that I can cut the magnet pieces and put it on. And we can either use that on the magnet board or on a cookie sheet like this. I have a bunch of these different tabletop activities. Pumpkin pom-pom sheet and then there's a scarecrow and also I have the triangle dot page since we're doing um, triangles this month also this pumpkin counting but there's a few ways I want to try using these for one we have the pom-poms they can be used with the tweezers or they can pick these up I need to use kind of big pom-poms have my choking tester and I'm just going to show you how some of these things are could be choking hazard these are really fun for the preschoolers but they look a lot like candy and another thing that would make a good one that's not a choking hazard are these large soda lids or water bottle lids now those don't fit in there and those would work really nicely on these pages and then also even just the bigger sized button these shouldn't fit in the tester either I think these are too big yes so those would be just fine to have out with the um, younger age groups. I, I thought that these little pumpkin jars with the lids were kind of cute. They're just at the Dollar General right now for one dollar. And then this I got ready to go on the light table. So it's just where they kind of match the little jack-o'-lantern face shapes onto the different pumpkins. And there's a whole bunch of different ones here. These are going to be a lot of fun. I found some little Halloween stampers and these are always great. And there's the pumpkin and all different little uh, Halloween and fall designs some little sheets of paper but I want you to notice these do fit into the choking tube so these are a choking hazard so something to keep in mind and keep up high from little ones in our sensory bin we've been doing the kinetic sand but it's time for a change they've really been missing water and water transfer so I think I'm gonna have I've got black attribute blocks and these little jack-o'-lanterns and some bowls and some squeezers and some other little cups and then and I think I'll just put some water in there. We can do some water mixing and transferring and maybe even towards the end of the theme we will do some pumpkin spice oobleck in there and I can put a recipe below for that. And then I've got a few process art ideas for this larger template. Squeeze some paint in there, maybe a few different colors and then let them roll these funny little balls around. You could use golf balls, you could use bouncy balls, whatever you like. And then the smaller pumpkins, I think I will do another, maybe use these rollers roll those out and then put them on the popsicle sticks and make props again they just love having their own props for this one we've got some paper bags here and we're just gonna paint those orange and then the next day when they're dry we'll stuff them with their pumpkin guts which is just the shredded paper and then I have some beans here that we can count and put some um, seeds inside of the bag and then tie it up with Chanel stem and make some curly cues that should be a fun one and then with this one I found these foam pumpkin cutouts I'm thinking we're gonna make some Picasso pumpkins so they can take these different paper cut shapes and just glue them on however they please and maybe even end up with a cool Picasso mosaic pumpkin collage for this one this is gonna be a two or maybe even three day process first they're gonna drag some green paint on the big paper and make some pumpkin patch then we're gonna put some fence posts up glue those on and then when that's all dry they can put stickers on their pumpkin patch and then we have our play-doh stuff i found these nice little cutouts they're just the right size for the amount of play-doh we use these are some halloween ones and some pumpkin ones there's like some cats in here and a bat i think they'll have some fun with that and then i also have some more of the black attribute blocks i thought they might have fun pressing those 
themselves into the play-doh as well maybe making their own jack-o'-lantern face and we're going to make some pumpkin spice play-doh i'll put that recipe down below as well with our dot pages that we have for our letters that we're covering for this month i have some black and some orange stickers and these are some pre-writing pages i think those will go really nice in the writing center also in our writing center i've got some different coloring pages we can put in there and have a variety of things to do every day when they come in this nice pumpkin tracing and then also this pumpkin coloring page so i have these pumpkin wood cuts these are always fun to paint they always like these and then we can put a little magnet on them for them to take home for circle time we will be doing the five little pumpkins this song card came with the fall curriculum guide got them cut out i just need to tape these sticks on these i think are going to be really fun nice and big and i think we'll have a lot of fun learning that song and then we will be doing a pumpkin spice coffee shop in our dramatic place so i found these coffee cups with the lids at the dollar store but we have some cute signs to hang up and then I also found this pumpkin spice sign and then we put some little food out and some different things and make a fun little dramatic play then next there are these crows and these big scarecrows that came in that prop packet so I think the big ones I'm gonna hang up on the wall for decoration and then these smaller ones I'm gonna cut these guys out and tape them onto some blocks along with the smaller crows and we'll have our own little pumpkin patch complete with scarecrows and crows and little pumpkins in our block area. I was able to download some images and save them. I just couldn't get these printed yet. It's really easy to find images with pumpkins and there's just tons of free ones. Just save it to your phone and then you can print them right off from your photo album. So I'll get those printed so we can get them hung up. We will be doing It's Pumpkin Day Mouse and then Pumpkin Day, the biggest pumpkin ever, apples and pumpkins, and then pumpkin jack this will be a lot of fun reading these books to the children so we have a lot of fun things a lot of stuff to cover i think this will cover us for a good full two weeks and then later in october we will just add some spiders and some bats uh, activities to work on so i hope this helps give some good ideas and inspiration for the pumpkin theme and i hope it helps to get everyone excited for the pumpkin season lots of fun things to do with the pumpkin theme Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe because there's more to come.